<laughs> I'm sure you're a little skeptical still, but just wait, you'll love it. When these teenage girls first walked in, they were pretty quiet and seemed kind of shy. After all, they were here to talk about bullying, a sensitive subject. Paul shared his story first. When I was your age, I was bullied really terribly in school. I hated school. And I can remember five distinct times, five separate times in my life when I was young, when I thought about wanting to end my life. He says a teacher saved him by showing him that he could express himself through art. After he grew up and became an artist, they started a program together to do the same for other students. That is looking great. Once they got their hands on some paint, the students started to open up. <laughs> for the next few weeks, they'll be working on a number of art projects, including a sculpture made out of technology to represent cyberbullying. Vanessa and Janae found friends in each other at school through art, but they both felt loneliness when they were younger. When I was in second and third grade, I like didn't have my two front teeth still, so I got mocked for that. And for my type of my hair up until sixth grade, I was called like firework hair girl. So when I'm making this art, I just tie that back to the feelings I felt during that time. Vanessa described being teased and left out. That's when she discovered her passion for art. It helped me realize that I'm better than what most people expect me to be. Like, and like, I realized that I don't have to be liked by everybody. Just being myself and letting others like me for who I am is enough to help me go by. Reporting in Seaside, Bianca Beltran, KSPW, Action News 8.